Welcome to spotlight video number six and apologies for the one day delay this time of uploading this video. There is a lot going on in the technical committee and the organization of this league. This is why there is this one day delay. So without further ado, let's just dive right into the news. Let's start with the extension of the submission deadline. As you might have seen in my call for participation that I've sent out, we did extend the submission deadline to April 23rd, which is this Friday. The reason is that we had problems with the submission system. Actually, submission system did not correctly send the registration links to newly registered members, which means that people who were not already registered on our website could not actually submit anything to our submission system. And since the, we received complaints about this, we have now extended the deadline. This does not change anything about the 23rd of April submission deadline for the robot model. So this stays the same as it was. For those of you who are already registered, you should have already gotten the letter with the registration code for the RoboCup 2021 event. In case this is, you, this is not the case and you have not received this letter, please let me know so I can resend this letter to you. And it should be the team leader who has received the letter. As I just said, the deadline for the robot model submissions is coming up. The first draft is due on April 23rd and the submission system is now also updated. So you have some more information there on what exactly you have to upload and the correct upload fields. Well, we do encourage teams to upload a model that is as complete as possible. You will be able to make substantial changes for the second deadline, which is May 23rd. So just as a short reminder of the process, the submission of the first draft is due now on April 23rd. And then on April 24th, just the next day, we will assign reviewers. Um, every robot model is peer reviewed by two other teams and this will be assigned on April 24th. And then the peer reviewers have time until May 3rd, which is what we currently planned, to review the other robot models. You will find the review form in the submission system, which also tells you exactly what you have to review and pay attention to. And then we currently plan to send feedback back to the teams on their robot models by May 7th. And then on May 23rd, it's the deadline for the second version of the robot model. And this now needs to also include a simple robot controller, which will be used for benchmarking tests because your robot model cannot slow down the um, calculations of the simulation in the physics. So if your robot model is too complex, then you might get another request for revision. And also you need to submit a robot video or video of your robot standing up if you want to compete in the virtual kid size league. Afterwards, it will still be possible to make changes. However, those then need to be sent as a version request by email to the technical committee, detailing exactly what you want to change and for what reason. Now, the other update that we made is to the rule book. The official rules were approved by the technical committee in the last TC meeting. And now we only expect updates to these rules in case of severe problems that we see with the rules. Please know that it is still possible that there are some small change and adjustments once we have completed the development of the auto referee together with Cyberbotics, which is expected on April 26, and also after the mock competition in the beginning of June. However, the TC already decided that in case we actually need to make updates in June after the mock competition, this needs to be voted on and approved by the team leaders. Cyberbotics has also now released the first version of their automated refereeing software. And um, you are, you, you're welcome to use this. You're welcome to test this out. Um, you'll find the latest version on the official WeBots repository. If you come across any issues, something that is supposed to already work in this version, but it's not working as expected, don't hesitate to report them. Don't report them in the official rebots repository, but report them in the fork that we created on the technical committee GitHub. Please note that there are still substantial, substantial changes 
um, that we plan to this auto referee. This currently only involves basic behavior like starting and stopping games, uh, scoring goals and penalizing robots. However, the more advanced behavior, like for example, detection of forceful contact, ball holding, ball handling, and secondary game states like free kicks or throw-ins. Those are not implemented in the current auto referee software and we expect this for the final update of the WeBots simulator. In the last spotlight video, I said that we are also expecting updates of the server infrastructure and the API controller specifications by Monday. However, we have to postpone this for another two weeks. The reason is that during the development of the auto referee, we realized that some of the computations we have to make in the auto referee may actually be more complex than we expected, which could slow down further the real time factor of the simulation. So in order to actually make proper benchmarking tests and decide on the final infrastructure to go with, we actually do need the final version of WeBots to test with. And this is why we have postponed updates on those two documents until May 3rd. And this is what we currently now have as a planned date to release updates on those two documents. I would also like to thank all teams that contributed to the promo video. It is, was really cool to see that so many teams actually came together to do this and how many teams are currently already working on this competition physically in the lab. Some of you are virtually. And I will let you know once the official video has been released by the Federation. This was all I had for this week. So let's take a look at upcoming developments in the coming days. As I already said, on April 23rd, the teams need to submit their first version of the robot models. Just again, this is mandatory for you if you do want to compete with your own robot model. This does not have to be complete, but if you are aiming to compete with your own robot model, you have to upload a version of this robot model by April 23rd. The peer reviewing phase then starts on April 24th and is currently planned to be completed by May 3rd. And then on May 3rd, we also plan to release the final API specifications and the second update to the server infrastructure requirements. And then according to the current plan on May 7th, we plan to send feedback for your first version of the robot models to um, you for making updates and changes as requested by the reviewers and as requested by the technical committee. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to us on Discord or on the forum. And otherwise, we'll send you um, this and other news in the newsletter on Thursday. And I'll see you again in the next Spotlight next Monday.